Hi guys and thank you for joining me for another video. I wanted to quickly go through my technique for these ink and watercolor sketches that I do sometimes in my sketchbook. So I find it much easier to paint a subject if I have an outline already down, especially one in ink. It sort of takes the pressure away from trying to add detail using paint. Um, which I think is much more likely to go wrong, especially with watercolour. So the materials I tend to use are water-soluble ink. In this case, it's one of the Noodler brand. I think it's called Heart of Darkness. It's actually one of my favourite black inks and it's quite waterproof. Uh, I also like to use a dip pen. Uh, because I like to vary the pressure on the nib and there, that way I can get thin and thick lines. So usually I start by putting down uh, just the outlines of the major components of my subject. So with regards to this kingfisher, I am focusing initially on the head, the eyes, beak, wings, and then I come in afterwards and add the details. Now adding detail with ink is not very difficult. It's just a matter of going in and just putting in some tightly spaced lines where um, I guess you want to add the most detail or where you want to change the values. So where you want a part of the subject to be darker or lighter, you just vary the line consistency. And of course you don't need to ensure that the entire piece is detailed or done. Uh, in my case with the Kingfisher, I wasn't really going to focus on more than the head for the most part. And then once I have my ink piece done, I can just come in and just quickly put down the washes. Now, I don't worry too much about keeping the paint within the lines. I do like that sketchy look. I mean, that's the entire point of this. It's just a sketch uh, and I want it to be quite loose. And so it's just a matter of picking up the the, the hues or the colors that are accurate and then just dabbing them in the spots where they should be. And because the majority of the detail was actually portrayed using the ink, I don't have to stress too much about what I'm doing with the paint. Now that kingfisher may still look too detailed or m may have taken more time than maybe I want to do for another subject. So I'm trying to create this fox cub in about half the time that I took for the Kingfisher. 
In this case, I wanted to focus less on the inking. Uh, I just wanted to put in the major components of the subject so that it actually looks like what I want it to look like. So I'm putting in the head and the eyes and then just a quick outline of the body. But I, don't, I didn't want to really go in and add as many lines as I did for the Kingfisher. Expression is essential for capturing a likeness of a subject and so all the detailing I'm going to do is going to focus predominantly on the head. Now you'll notice that I'm predominantly going over the same lines over and over again. I'm darkening them where I want them to be thicker but I'm not really adding too many extra details. I'm keeping the piece quite clean. So that now I can come in with the paint and just try and dab the color again in big washes. Uh, but even though I spent a lot less time on the ink, you can see exactly what my subject is. So having finished the quite detailed kingfisher, the not so detailed fox, I've moved on to my final piece, which is a portrait of an American kestrel. Here, I wanted to focus only on the portrait. I didn't really want to take away from that intense gaze. You could say that here I am allowing the paint to do more of the speaking. I am being a bit more careful where I lay down my colors, but this is still a sketch. This is still something quick that looks, I guess, um, organic, natural, something I may do in the field. Uh, and you know, it doesn't have to be limited to animals, of course. I, I can imagine that this technique would be great for botanical work where you just want to capture a quick likeness, but you don't want to spend too much time on the paint. Um, I think it's a lot less daunting as well, especially if you're putting an initial outline using pencils before going in adding the ink afterwards. So if you do have any questions about this, please feel free to let me know. Uh, I would love to see if you actually use this technique for your own work. Just link 
down where you may have uh, posted any of your pieces. I would love to see them myself. Just on a final note, we are in the process of updating our Society6 page. Now, I haven't discussed that page with you previously because we set it up ages ago and haven't really amended it, but uh, we're putting in some new uh, designs up and we'll have a link for you soon. And I really hope that you'll be able to check it out and see if there's anything there that you'd like. As always, thanks so much for your support um, and I appreciate you viewing this, liking it, subscribing and if you found this video helpful then please let me know. Thank you very much guys, stay safe and we'll chat later.